Check, check, check. Mic, check. We are back for another week. Matt Violin is here. I am here with Sid. I'm here with Carmen. Welcome to another episode of Matt Violin's podcast. We're going to call this segment Give Us a Minute. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. You know what I'm saying? We had a, a long week. Yes. A lot to talk about. Sid, I'm, I'm catching the energy from Sid that Sid is a little stressed right now. You know I'm I am not stressed. <laughs> I, just had, I just had a long day, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. Don't let it fool y'all guys. It was FanDuel. <laughs> It was definitely. Oh, you see, you see what I'm saying? That that's why I don't. Yo, the only time I gamble, point five. The only time I gamble is when I go to Foxwoods. That's it. I throw a little honey. I love Foxwoods. Okay, this this is how I gamble. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like if I gamble like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, I'm like, that is a lot of money. But I'm like, like I spent more money going on dates and right. just doing random shit. I'm like, if I could waste three hundred dollars doing that, mm-hmm. I can. Take the three hundred. <laughs> take the three hundred. And I'll, I'll, I'll. It's not a cheap date. I, yeah, I see. That's <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm getting from the take conversation. Note, fellas. <laughs> you see that? That's what I was trying to tell y'all. Take like, note, ladies. From last week, I was telling y'all y'all would have been terrible as men trying to date. You yes. cannot be a cheap man trying to date out here. It's not gonna work. That's a fact. It's dead. Not gonna work. Like, that's not all the fact. But you know what? You could do like little things like park dates picnics you know like things in that that's nature a female the way females are nowadays they they're gonna get that. tired of that you think so that <laughs> maybe you would get tired of like you know i'm saying females park females date. will get tired of they're gonna be like oh this he keep taking me to the park i guess I'm he ain't got saying, no money i'm not saying <laughs> i'm not saying every time but i mean like every once in a while like a cute little park no that is date. cute i would like that picnic it's different but what i'm saying is I don't agree with him where you can't be a cheap guy because there's some dirty guys out there, like dirty, filthy, no car, no crib, no nothing. And their their female and their arm is fire. That's a fact. And you be looking like how he how he grabbed that. That's what I'm saying. He's so. spending all that money on her. It's not that it's not all about how much you spend. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of it is a mental thing. It's like like your girl doesn't have to be just be with you just because you have the bread. Like your girl has to willingly submit her mind to the dude that she's with. That's true. Me personally, those are the best relationships for me. I agree. You see what I'm saying? So it's not all about how much you spend. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But you can't not spend nothing. Like I can't be on a date. I'm like, come on, God damn, that's your third drink. Like, what you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah, do that. Like you can't You're under do that. the table counting like, 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 <laughs> like I'm tapping the waiter. Like yo, let me know when to get to 150. Bro. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't that is do hilarious. That. But I ain't gonna lie. Yo, you know what works every time? I'm giving away game. I'm giving away mad game. This For shit, free ass, let me hear this. this. Yo, listen. All right, so anytime we're at the end of the date, I always do this. Mm-hmm. So you know how, like, normally, like, you'll order all your food, and then the, the waiter will, like, come back around, like, oh, is everything okay? Then you'll close out the tab. He'll bring he'll bring out the check. Mm-hmm. You pay, you tip, and then you leave. I always do this. This shit is so smooth, boy. <laughs> it's not yo, always yeah. man. Oh, every boy. single time. So I'll, like, I'll be like, yo, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick after we ordered everything, and then I'll find the waiter. I'll be like, yo. Close out my tab. Here's the tip. When I come out the bathroom, just give me everything. So then, like, you know, he'll be like, all right, cool, fine. I'll sign for it. Give him his tip. He's like, yo, I appreciate you, man. Blah, blah, blah. I always make sure I tip very handsomely. As very you handsomely. Of mm, I like that. I'm, I'm, oh, listen. Okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Listen, I'm a gig worker, so, like, I respect the bartenders, mm-hmm, the strippers, mm-hmm. any kind of entertainment. If this, if it's a tipping business, I make sure I tip very well. So you tip That's your good. strippers good? Say again? You tip your strippers good. Oh, of course. <laughs> but the, That's all you got out of that. <laughs> I know, right? I don't like strip clubs like that. But anyway, so so then like when I get back to the table, the girl's just like, "Oh, I'm I'm, I'm like, yo, let's go." She's like, "You're not gonna play the pay the tab?" I'm like, "It's already paid for. Let's go." She's just like, "Ooh, ooh, oh yes, 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 yes. You do I that because that's because like because that. that's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat, pity dropper. Yo, I'm dead. That's why he does that because That's that smooth, for a, that is smooth, and that for a female is gonna turn her on because it's just like now. If that was me, now I'm gonna set the table and be like, oh, when I walk into the car, like, how the hell does he mean it's already paid? For? Like, like how when you pay he, that bill, right? Like now I'm thinking. Now I'm curious about you. Hmm. You see, I talk about having like I'm like 85 levels ahead of everybody most times. Very time. handsomely. Mm-hmm. Very handsomely. I like very that. handsomely. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, but Carmen, how are you feeling, man? I didn't ask you how you was feeling today. I'm feeling good. You looking good? You know what I'm saying? You got the got the blonde hair and 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 the brown oh, no. skin. The baby hairs. <laughs> Walking around looking like a black and mouth baby. <laughs> <laughs> a black and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, you're, you're is it champed? Right, he just called. <laughs> that right? is disgusting. <laughs> is it wood tipped? 
tip? Right. Plastic tip. Right? Is it wood tip? Plastic tip? Yo, I, I swear to God, anybody that smokes black and mild, your cleanliness is at level three. So I swear to nah, God. seriously. I hate them shits. That's bad smoke. Excuse me. No, today I read on Instagram an hour. No, I'm sorry. One minute of hookah is 150 cigarettes. That's fine. No, I believe it. <laughs> you said that's fine, but everybody love their hookah. I love hookah. I'm never going to stop smoking it, but I'm just saying that's a lot of cigarettes. So are, are they trying to say that hookah like shaves off days off your life? Because let's say, all right. Yeah, they basically saying we're messing up. So let's say if hookah shaves off three days off your life, do you know how many days it shaves off a man's life having an annoying girlfriend? Wow. Annoying girlfriends kill people faster than hookah does. Word to my mother. Right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Turn, it. Turn it off. Turn it off. We're going to edit that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, where would you, where'd you get that Why from? Why do you what do I, that? Right. Yo, annoying people get on my nerves. Like, I'm telling you, like. what's an, Okay, what's, what is an annoying girlfriend to you? Okay, an annoying girlfriend. Question. That's actually a great That's question. That's a great question, actually. For me, personally. It's not just what you do, but the idea is this. Somebody that wants me to move based on how they feel all the time. That is mad annoying. My purpose in life is not to just make you happy. Right. Mm -hmm. Part of the reason why this relationship works is because I put myself first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say happy wife, happy life. Mm -hmm. A happy man, happy everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do not live to serve you. I'm going to make sure that you're good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not abusive either. Mm -hmm. Mentally, spiritually, or physically. I'm not. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I am not going to sit here and like bend to your every whim. I don't do that. I don't have to. That's a fact. I agree. That is that, you know, that saying happy wife, happy Mm -hmm. life. You know what? I don't think that we give guys a lot of credit for, you know, what they do put up with sometimes. You know, it's always... To me, sometimes I feel like it's always about the female and never mm-hmm. like, you know, guys have mental, you know, mental states too where they just are sad and emotions as well. Like I saw something the other day where like this lady gave her man flowers. What? It was cute. Because, you know, you never think, and he actually really liked it. Like, Have you ever got, have flowers? You ever got flowers before? No. But you know, you know, you know, he like no. that. you know what would be the equivalent to it? Like any, any, any girl that I date, they know I'm a, like a huge Mortal Kombat, like competitive player. Mm-hmm. Learn how to play Mortal Kombat and sit down and play with me and actually yeah, be good. That shit is fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That would be yeah. fire. I'd be like. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they do that. Oh my god! I'm like, we're so nah, Mortal Kombat is lit. That's my, but that's that's my thing. It's just like what women deem to be important to them doesn't necessarily translate as the same thing that's important to men. Yeah. If I give you flowers, mm-hmm. don't go on my birthday and give me flowers. That doesn't really mean any, mean anything. To oh me. no no no. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get yeah. that. It's it's not the same thing. I'm never buying a man flowers. Why not? I thought it was when I saw it. I actually thought it was like different because the guy was actually really shocked. Like you know, even though you know you think it's like a feminine thing that we're supposed to be like girls are supposed to receive flowers. Like no, it's not. We we, I don't know the society. We just put it as a label. Like only females are supposed to get flowers. But when she really sat there and asked him, like you know, have you ever got flowers before? And if you ask pretty much ninety nine percent of the guys out here, have they gotten flowers before? They're all gonna say no. Like I don't think we should put it in a category that only females should receive flowers Mm -hmm. but i know a guy is not really gonna care as much as like how we do they may or may not i can't speak for everybody but i thought it was like a cute little gesture you know it was different i know personally if i gave my boyfriend flowers he would (laughs) yeah (laughs) i'm gonna do it wait wait, time out time out time out say you got one of those what you got a boyfriend oh here they go with their shit (laughs) wait wait time out yes or no yes i do oh we go sid (laughs) sid you are officially banned from this podcast nigga (laughs) you can't come out here no more (laughs) (laughs) I do. And how's you know what? We don't gotta talk about that. That's personal. <laughs> that, that's personal. But you know what's funny? Speaking about like how men want to be <laughs> what? You heard all of that? Just mad pickling and crackling inside the mic. <laughs> Look at this, yeah. Don't you better not sip that dry ass drink. Finish it and get a new one. Alright, all right, where's my all right, cool, Sorry, cool, cool, cool. I'm back. You know <laughs> I cannot. He he's like drink he patrol. Hates, right. He hates when my drink is empty. Because y'all be Pause, pause, pause. Y'all be slurping them dry ass drinks. That's not pause. We're females. I'm a male. Oh, for you to say it. Right? Yeah, for me to yeah, say it. True. 
<laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But you just to, uh, you know, slip them dry ass drinks is crazy. When do you think we are ever going to get out of that pause? Never. We're not. Never. You know stuff. why? You we know, are grown. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you Sorry. why. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So here's, here's the thing. Dick on the shoe. What? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. No, it, it's not here we go until you start turning red laughing. Yeah, you know when she turns yeah, red. It's over. She's about to do it right she now. Is. I, know. <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Like, look up. You're I literally know. turning red before our faces. Like, <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> say what you was going to say. Um, Let's jump to Regina's real quick. Let's get it. Why is it that every time I play the song for Carmen, <laughs> she never is there. never there? I don't know. Carmen, the last two weeks, two weeks ago, you left early, right before I played it. You left I know. Early. Watch out for the big girls. Mm-hmm. Son, I, I said, Carmen. Son, I had the high quality version, the instrumental. Yep. I had a whole speech lined up just for you. I'm like, where's Carmen at? I said, oh, she just, she just left. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Carmen is not here. It's all right. This Wednesday. Might I say, Matt has been doing his damn thing at Regina's. I mean, that's it's fact. been lit. Um, there was a celebrity in the spot the day. other day, and Ooh. he was like, um, is it Treach? 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 I said it wrong. From Naughty by Nature? Yes, mm. there you go, Treach. Yeah, I did. I only saw the picture that he was there, but I didn't see him because I was so oh, like. Oh, he so, hangs out with Danasia, Dea, and um, that. Yeah, because he's um he manages Ice T. Mm-hmm. That's and they, he just wanted a night out, so I had the pleasure of just going over to speak, you know, showing you know some love, like oh what you doing up at Regina's or whatever. And we were speaking, he was like, "This DJ's going crazy." <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, I said, oh, shit. I you said, sound like Funk Flex. I, I, I said, he yeah. got it. I was like, ball. we got to get the bomb. <laughs> New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut. <laughs> That's how is, he sounded. <laughs> this track is so hard. I'm not going to play the record. Like he, he We're going to play it high, over again. He gave me a high five and everything. Like, he was what? really enjoying himself. Like, he honestly was only staying because the music was, was fire. Like, if you notice, like, oh, you wasn't there. The crowd was different. Um, this past Wednesday, yes, it was more. When people, I seen the videos, yes. I said, "What is so? They got so and so outside. Wait, yep. is that so and so? Yep. I had to rewatch videos. I was like, "Oh, it was a lot of um." And I mean, people in there. It's a great thing because it's just like everybody's in there just having a great time. Because Mad's bringing the people out. You are so. Regina's would never be like that on a Wednesday if it wasn't for you. Yeah, we all know that. So what's <laughs> funny is I don't know if I ever like really express this to you guys, but it's just like. I am now really jumping into the things that I've really been afraid to do. Really? For mad long. Wow. Mad Why are you long. Afraid? I would never I would never uh-huh. think you I would never would, get that. You know, from him. I never put it like this. Mm-hmm. Put it like this. It's like for the performance aspect. You you put me on a stage. Matt, your only job is just to, to DJ. I'm like, man, put me up there with the best of them. I don't care about that. Bring me out the people. Right. And that be and like pretty much who I can bring out is pretty much how I'm gonna be judged. Mm-hmm. I'm just like I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's a little. That's a little. I get it. I've never really done that. I, I've always just been the talent. You you put me on a stage with X amount of people, twenty people or twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. I'll do my thing. Now, mm-hmm. when I'm solely responsible for the people who come out, I'm just like, yeah, that's a head scratcher. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So like to see what the turnout is every Wednesday mm-hmm. and see new faces every time and see people like consistently enjoying themselves like you're there literally every week yeah mm-hmm. and there's another I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you like <laughs> legit every single week this this is just my pet peeve i hate going to places where i know the dj and the sets are like identical uh, mm, me too. yeah i hate that i do my best being that i see the same faces every week you try to mix it up i do my absolute best to do that oh well you're doing it listen <laughs> this dj I'm, is crazy I broke out my hips <laughs> I was hitting that hoe in there. Excuse yeah, me. when I Excuse saw me. the video, point to, I was like, yo, yo, we used to go crazy to that in high school. And no. I was bringing people back. You know what's Facts. funny, though? You know what's funny? You know who's responsible for that set, that club set? What? My little brother, Mike. Is he really? Shout out to Mike, Right. Shout out to Mike. Right. Shout out to on Mike. The West Coast. He's on the West Coast, right? Yeah, he, Shout out he, to Mike. He's actually going to be back. <laughs> she fucking said What, Carmen? You gotta say that, some Jamaican shit. Where no, else? She's trying to say his at name. Say it again. Oh, I thought she was gonna say some Jamaican <laughs> shit. <laughs> say, say it. Man, say it. Because it looks like that. it looks like it's hard in her to say it. <laughs> she wants to say it <laughs> so bad. Say it, call it. Put up. Now shout out to Matt, Matt, Michael. It's border, border, border. 
<laughs> you said it all wrong. I said, I said, she said bullet. I thought she said bullet. You about to throw up? What the fuck is that? Yo, call it. There she go. You're turning <laughs> dumb. She's right turning. Son. Can y'all see her turning right right now? Is it just me? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Yo, it's a border. A border. <laughs> no, and, and what does that mean? It's so stupid. He literally made up a whole language off of one word. Oh my gosh. It it's means him. it means anything in general. Okay. So he lied. He's not lying. He literally made a whole language off of one word. The story I got. Well, it's not even a story. I'm not going to lie. So the podcast. He said that they weren't allowed to curse inside of their house. Okay. So instead of saying curses, he would be like, oh, what the border? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but that's, that's what it was. So that's it's just like up. when he started saying it, like mm-hmm. me and Mo was just like. Looking at him. Like, what does that mean? And your so- older brother was there too, right? Yeah, he was. I was like. Mo came yeah. to Regina. I wiped yes. my eyes. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Is that his older brother? Oh, he Mo- really Mo came like- to. Re- yeah. Wow. Shout out to Mo too. Mo Dallas. That's crazy. But nah, so like, like yes, it was a replacement for a curse, but then he like ran with it because me and Mo thought it was but just he's ridiculous. So funny. It's just like. So like, you'll literally just say a sentence like, water, 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 water. <laughs> I, would, I can only imagine them all, all living house. together. Shout out to your mother. Like, <laughs> no. Your I, parents. No, no. She, no. He said that They're their house crazy. was like Christians with a cape on. No, it was. Really? And and honestly, oh my God. if you ask me personally, the reason why that they only had three kids, because I think their kids got more and more terrible each time they had one. Mm. And Michael was the last girl. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> That is it. Yo, we are terrible at breeding. That's like, it. like, it's done. Like, that's it. Yo, COVID is yeah. done. <laughs> This shit is dead. Yeah. It I'm, got worse. It got worse. Kid. That's kid, son. Michael was the last straw. Yeah. No, I'm Michael like, is. He's, yeah, he's like a, Dalton. Dalton. <laughs> oh, it. yo, he really. Michael yo, I is. Love Dalton, I love man. Dalton. Dal- <laughs> Shout out Shout to out you, to Dalton. Dalton. Yo, Dal- lo- he's a teacher. I would want. I want to go in his class to see how he teaches. Like, yo, yeah. it'll be fun if we all redid high school and just had Dalton as our teacher just oh. for a week. Oh my yo. goodness, that would be hilarious. I wish they had things like that. Like, go relive high school for one day. Oh, you're on like the as we're out. Like as we are now. Yeah, that would be cool. Like a little experience. Just you're on to something. Yeah. That would be kind of. Mm. That would be. Yeah. That would be like a little dope. <laughs> Border. Border. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, you're about to laugh. Just laugh. Get out the <laughs> She's like, she she was a I can literally tell, son. I can literally tell. She's trying to hold it in. I don't know why. I'm trying to hold them in my laughter. No, just <laughs> please don't. You can let go of the laughter here. Okay. I'm listen, I'm not Mr. Body. <laughs> you could just laugh in. <laughs> Mr. Carmen! <laughs> Yo, he hated her. Yo, I had no classes with Carmen at all. You didn't? No. That's a fact. I don't have I don't did I have any I don't think I did I have class with you? We met through uh Mr. Oh, Miss I used to love her. Freaking- Who was the chef's teacher that was crazy? The white lady. Don't say a name, so I don't have to go crazy with this edit. But go ahead. We don't. Yes. I know what you're talking about. She was insane. You could just do beep. She didn't like her yeah. job. I, I like. I can literally tell the teachers that did not like their job. You know who I saw the other day? Um, two days, two nights ago. Oh, oh yeah, he loves love his him. job. He does. He's yeah. still there. Facts. Like, he's been there. Over he's a very passionate about it, and that's and that's what's up because. That's what you need. You need teachers like that. He's very passionate. Like he's, a, I, I never got the experience to have him as a teacher, but people that were like in theater and stuff like that, like he was pretty dope. They spoke very highly about him. <laughs> but not, yo, I ain't gonna lie. For some strange reason, I went down like this rabbit hole of just like watching old <clears throat> interviews, like, mm-hmm. uh, like the early Power 105 interviews. Mm. And I don't know what, how I ended up on this interview, but I ended up on the Shaggy interview when he was on Power 105. Watching the interview was a great interview, but it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Shaggy, the one I said, it wasn't me. Yes, that Shaggy. And what, he, so, what was he talking about? So when I was watching the Shaggy interview, it was just hilarious to me that he's like mad well-spoken. That's not the funny part, but it's just like, he's just like, oh, yeah, so um, how, how you guys doing? Hi, Charlemagne, Envy, and, and Angela Yee. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah, so um, Shaggy, what are you drinking? Oh, this? Oh, this is actually the wine that Jesus turned in, like you know, when he turned the water into wine. It's that wine. If you look at it, it's quite robust. And <laughs> nah. um, if you look at the legs on the that wine, was it's just shaggy? quite. No, he's he's very <clears throat> he's a very elegant speaker. It's hilarious to me. But then really? if you act like in my head, I gotta it's like watch this. it. No, wait, wait, wait. It's like this. It's just like Shaggy's just like you know, it's it's the wine is quite robust. 
And if you just look at that legs, it's just so beautiful and just elegant. If you swirl it, the aromas just open up in the wine. Shaggy, can you sing your song? Oh, right. yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that would have took me. Yo. That would have took me all the way out. No, but it's just like like when I listen to his music and then just hear it, like 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 the interview, I'm like, it's two different people. Yeah, that's so crazy. it's just like like Shaggy, can you can you like recite what, what letter is that? Oh, that's the letter A. And that <laughs> and then you go, oh, that's, that's letter B. <laughs> can you can you <laughs> can you sing your ABCs? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I was like, yes. only I find stuff funny like yeah, that. No, like, I, no, that's funny. I would have been. That would have took me, caught me totally off guard. Was if I was interviewing too. him, I would have been like, oh, I was not expecting. Nah, Facts. but what was funny about that, like watching those interviews, it kind of brought me back to like when I was living at home, mm-hmm. and I kind of had like some weird little thoughts. Mm-hmm. Like that thought, like when people think that you don't pay like significant bills mm. because you live at home. Right. Mm. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh. Was that, is that just me or did y'all have that experience too? I had that experience. Shit. I still had that experience today. Like, you know, I'm, I've, I haven't left the nest yet because mm-hmm. I just want to save to a certain amount before um, I move out. Mm-hmm. Just so, like, when I leave, like, I'm not coming back. You know what right. I'm saying? And I have a family that's not, oh, get out, get out. You know, it's, yeah, I, I have Your parents to, are not like they're that. They're cool. Like, you know, they want me to be able to save my money and then go do the things that I want to do. Because, mm-hmm. honestly, I really want to purchase a house. Mm-hmm. So, I am actually in a situation that's convenient for me because it's like, they're not down my back about it. And most right. people will look at it like I'm just comfortable Mm-hmm. And just, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I ha- I'm still under their roof. Mm-hmm. I still have to abide by their rules mm-hmm. and certain things. But I'm an adult as well, so it's like it's coming to that, you know, that ending where it's like, all right, it's it's time to go because I'm I've reached my goal or my limit that I wanted to save. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people think like, you know, just because you're at this age that just because you live at home with your parents, like you don't pay nothing. Like you yeah. just live it. You're a freeloader. You're just there. You don't pay no bills. And that's totally not the case because I go half with my parents on the mortgage. So you go mm-hmm. half? Yes. I was going to ask you, like, if you didn't mind disclosing it, like, what do you pay? Because I yeah. think that, that is the, the the common misconception. Like, people think that you don't pay anything. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And it, that sucks that people just automatically think that. But no, I go half on the mortgage. Sometimes the electric bill and all that stuff is a little high because we leave leaving TVs on, lights right. on. If it's too high or something, I'm going to throw money towards that. Of course. And then I have my other bills outside of my household. Cars. Thank you. So it's just like. Transportation, gas, $7. Exactly. So it's just like, you know, just because you're in a situation where you're able to stay in the nest a little bit longer than others, Mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you have no, nothing to prove to anybody. You don't. You know, because. For a little while, because I had some people, you know, say things to me, and I really thought about it, like, damn, they can really, they kind of really coming at me a little crazy, like, you know, as far as like, but then I knew my goal. Like, see, I sit down and I write my stuff in a journal on what I want to do, and I attack each goal one by one, right? Because I had to learn, like, I'm living for myself. I'm uh-huh, not here period. to like be on Instagram trying to prove this lifestyle. Like, you know, that's not me. You right. Know? And I just know once I leave, I'm not looking back. Right. Because like half of the people are just coming at me and they're struggling. Like, right. You know See, and that's, that's always, and I don't want to struggle. That's always the interesting part too. It's just like the people that are the loudest with their critiques about people that still live at home. Right. Wish they wait, could wait, wait, live wait, time at out. home. Wait, time out. And they could, they still, thank you. Wait, hold on. They, the people that are the most, the loudest about their critiques about people who live at home, mm-hmm. they have roommates. True. Yeah. I'm just like, wait, time out. So it's like, wait, you're talking about like splitting bills and living under somebody else's like fam. You're not completely independent either. Right. And and like, here's my thing. If you have a plan and you're you're pushing towards that plan, you're not doing mm-hmm. nothing. You're like making a conscious effort to push towards a goal and a future. Mm-hmm. Who cares how long you stay with your parents? And honestly, when, what's crazy is when you look at any other like cultures, they all do that. Yeah. Like, Facts. There, there, there's a Muslim family that used to live a, that used to live across the street from my parents. Yo, first generation grandmas, right. aunts, uncles. Yo, I they, know plenty of people that have the whole family, the whole family tree yeah. still living at home, like yeah. grown forty year olds, fifty year olds still living at home. So it's just like I ain't gonna lie. If I didn't have kids, plural, yeah, two kids, 
I would still be leaving at home. Yeah. Like, give me home where I could pay light bill, go throw some ends to groceries, throw some ends to mortgage. Well, my grandparents own their house, but lights, whatever, to living on my own where now I'm definitely on my own, like rent. Now I got to pay EP and right. CG. I'm picking home to where I can stack my money. Yeah. And see, like, because I was really big on when I, because I used to, now don't get me wrong, I have left the nest before and I, when I lived in Connecticut, I thought right. I was really going to like, be stamped there mm-hmm. and live there. You was there for a while. I was there for a little while. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I've been out the house before and I have I came back. Like, you know, I was like, you know what? I think CT is going to be where right. I'm going to like really like be established there. But just like you and a lot of other people, you, your parents are not the type to be like, you know, Sydney. Time is ticking. Time to go. But you know what they do though? They mm-hmm. do... They don't say time is ticking, but then I know there's like, they don't want, trust me, I know, I'm an only child. Right, they don't want you to leave. They don't want me to leave. And they're older. But the thing about it, yes, I do have old parents, yes, I do. They don't want you to leave. They don't, but I want to leave, but you know, there there comes times where we do bicker about certain things, like where, all right, that's where that stuff comes into play, where it's like, all right, it's time to go. Right. Like, you know, certain things that you would do. On your own, like you know, going out with my little blunt. I go right. outside. Right. I would never. I don't. I'm not gonna smoke in the house because I know they don't care. But I'm not gonna do that. Right. Like that's not what you about to Is do. And then every time with. I'm like, oh, you're smelling like weed. My mom, yes. like, yes, I have an eighth in my pocket. Yeah. Like, my bad. It's the zaza. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the zaza. But I just wanted to, like, you know, I just. It's not like people really came at me about that. Not in a mm-hmm. bad, like not in a bad way, because I always hold my own with that because right. I I break down the laws. But that's the hand that I was dealt with. Like I didn't have to, you know. Get, my yeah, parents are not pushing of, me, and I don't have no. I have I don't have kids, right? And I know that's I another thing that plays the. All right, so for example, like if I had a child, right? All right, I do have kids. So if my son or daughter was to get older mm-hmm. and didn't have no kids. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I would be that type of parent to be like, you got to get out my crib. Right. Like, what do you, like, what am I really kicking you out the house with? Now, if you have a kid, the only reason why I would go for my child to get their own apartment is because I want you to experience what it feels like to live on your own with your child. That's exactly. if they're, mm-hmm. re- that's if they're responsible and financially prepared. If right. I know my kid is going to go out there and fall on his face with my grandchild, I'm not kicking them out. Right. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. That's where a lot of people don't understand. And then I have like, some people think, oh, well, they're all in designer and stuff because they living at home, but watch when they move out. It doesn't matter about that. You're watching the wrong thing. Because yeah, I, was a, I was a hippie for damn near 15 freaking years. My and point. then I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wear whatever. I'm a skateboarder low key. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, the pros and cons of living at home. Border. So, obviously, you don't have to carry the majority load of paying the rent, gas, electric, or any bills. Mm-hmm. So, with me, another one of the pros was when I was living at home, my sole, well, my parents' sole purpose of allowing me to still stay at home mm-hmm. was so I could properly launch myself, like you were saying earlier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, they were just like, we want to make sure that when you leave, that you do not have to come back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, not they're not no, trying serious. to be assholes, they're like, but they're like, serious. Don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like, yo, don't we, come back. Yeah, when you yeah. leave, you that's it. essentially you're done. So it's just like, like you staying here is not a free pass for you to sit down and do nothing. Right. right. But as long as you're doing something, you're in school, you had a job, mm-hmm. you had some sort of realistic. That's what they care about. Show them that you're doing something. Yes. As long as you had some sort of realistic push towards your future, you were good. Yep. Another. Pr- Ooh. Excuse me, Jesus. Does he have heartburn today? Maybe, I don't know. You need a Tums. Tum, 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 so another pro was like you live with people that you've known your entire life. So I've grown up with two other brothers and both my mom and dad. So I've known everybody in there. So I didn't have to move in with like complete strangers. Right. And like try to act like and pretend that I'm comfortable with them doing mm-hmm. certain things and taking risks and everything. So a peace of mind was a ma- like a You're major lucky. part, a major part of me staying at home. So mm-hmm. like living at home, it didn't offer me 100 percent peace of mind, mm-hmm. but I would say 70 to 80 percent. Mm hmm. They granted me that luxury mm-hmm. of having the peace of mind to do whatever the fuck I wanted to do. Right. Within their own bounds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the cons. Oh, boy, the cons. The cons. Oh, is, boy. No, there's some cons. Don't no, get me wrong. No, there really are. There's a, actually a lot of cons. Yeah, so, but... so number one, I couldn't do things how I saw fit. Mm-hmm. I had to run what I wanted to do through what my parents thought. Mm-hmm. So that, that extra layer 
it was always annoying. I'm just like, damn, I want to bring this man. I want to mm-hmm. kill her shit. I'm about to slay mm-hmm. her joint, but you got to be here between the hours of 7 a.m. and. Right. <laughs> Ooh. That's a fact. Yeah, that, that's that's listen, a fact. That that would dry up that thing real, real quick. quick. Yeah. Real quick. Like you you live with who? You can't have company. Pat- mm. yeah. 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 That's yeah. When I was with my grandparents, same thing. So also mm-hmm. too, it's just like another big con for me was the fact that like I was always asked questions that I didn't want to necessarily answer. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, like, so that who, is one. They're like, we yeah. saw on the camera on the um, the eye ring. Who, who was that person that left at 3 a.m.? I'm Mind like, your damn business. Man, I don't want to talk <laughs> to you about that. I, they see me get dressed. You know what I'm saying? They see me like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like real polished. Like, where are you going? I'm like, I don't want to tell you that. I got a yeah, girl. Ask yeah, ask mad questions. Oh, oh, my God. My mom is definitely good. Shout out to Valio. Yeah. I love you. It'll be crazy. It'll be <laughs> stupid stuff like like uh, this made up story. So it's just like my girl will be there all day, mm-hmm. and then it's it's like on a Tuesday, mm-hmm. and I and then like my girl leave, and I put on like my Sunday's best. Oh, where are you going? You and so and so are going? No, mm-hmm. you think I'm getting dressed up like this to go out with my girl? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. What's my, leave, leave, stop asking me questions. Leave me alone. Yes. And also too, this was like the 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 number one con for me. Mm-hmm. You're forced to live with people and their bad habits. Oof. Cleanliness mm. and bad communication was was my thing, and yeah. I, I I just couldn't do it no more. And that that that's what ultimately pushed me out of the house. Yeah, I just couldn't do it no more mm-hmm. because now ultimately what happened is just like me dealing with the cons of it was compromising my peace. And at right. this point in my life, I cannot compromise with my peace. I can't negotiate. Your peace with is that. important. It's it's honestly the only thing I really have. Yeah, I'm very fortunate that I have like older parents, so like I'm they out the way, I'm out the way. Like, you know, sometimes they do compromise my peace a little bit, you mm-hmm. know, with certain things. My, my mother, she don't play. So, like, there's certain things that I definitely agree on, but I've got, I'm very fortunate that, you know, I don't have to deal with, like, certain things that most people would get, like, pushed out the door. Because in yeah, my situation, you can, in my situation, you can really, you really can get laxed and just be like, all right, well, I'm just, but I don't want to, I just have a goal, you know? So it's a difference between being a bum and being not a bum. Yeah, I'm not a bum. You have the people that still live at home that are bum. I'm not a bum. And then you have the people that still live at home that's still up and functioning, like working. They have something going for themselves. Do mm-hmm. you have people that in, this, in this society that's still living at home because they don't want nothing? Like, right. I, I'm just with mommy. Cause, yeah. Because I ain't got to do nothing. Me out. Right. Like, right. no. Because I was really big on, like, I'm moving out, I'm moving out, I'm getting out of here. As soon as right. college was done, I'm out of here, I'm getting... Then I have to really sit back, like... Yeah, you're wilding. I'm not you saying, bugging. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't... You haven't even figured out, like, what exactly it is, like... Yeah, I saw that. What exactly it is that you want to, like, do which direction you want to go for. Because I'm a creative, and I'm an entrepreneur, and, and you know... I have many different ideas of what I wanted to do. You keep moving around that box and I hear it in my head. That's a throwback. They changed the box. Yeah, they did. All right. So, boom. We have to take a little break. You know what I'm saying? Got to, you know, go potty real quick so we can come back and do the potty. Yeah. You saw what I did? (laughs) Carmen is a hater. Carmen is mad because she didn't think about it first. You a hater, Carmen. She would have said it first. We all would have been dying. Border. (laughs) Border. Y'all should see her shirt <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look at the bra too oh i didn't even see it. nah nice. we're gonna have to get a close-up on that <laughs> yes we are i'm not sorry we gotta take a little break so. so all right so boom so sid hit the group chat you know what i'm saying our group chat is not that messy yet because y'all don't know me that well <clears throat> it's gonna get there it's no it definitely, definitely gonna is. get there it's definitely is i am a messy motherfucker anyway me too <laughs> and i got a lot of tea honey Boy, I tell you. Um, anyway, <laughs> so Sid hit the group chat and she asked me, "Have you ever felt jealous or envious of a friend in your life?" So that is a very deep question. So my first thing that I have to do anytime anybody asks me any question, we have to define what the two are. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna ask you guys. Anytime it comes to these questions, I want to make sure I can identify the difference between jealousy mm-hmm. and envy. So we're gonna start with Sid. Sid, what is the difference? Can you define? Jealousy and envy. Hmm. Okay. Jealousy. It's, to me, I kind of feel like it's it's like really in the same like category because when females be jealous, like they, their attitudes are a little different. Like you could dictate the moods of people mm-hmm. and then envious is like, okay, they start to do things that you do. 
like they start to wear the same stuff you do like it's the little things with girls with females that like maybe other people won't notice like the way you curl your baby hair or just mm-hmm. like the way you put you put that shit on real quick mm-hmm. now you dressing like that you mm-hmm. know so it's kind of like in the same category a little bit because i've dealt with females like that and i'm just like do you really fuck with me the way you do? Cause, right. Because when we get in a in around a certain crowd, they try to throw shade. Yes, yes. But you was Ow. just but you was Ow. just telling me I was I was cute right. or you like my fit. Right. But you try to embarrass me when we get around people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Have you? I don't know if you you I don't know if you ever been about females. Of course, of course. Like we was just talking about like oh bro or sis like that's really fire. But oh this is let me tell you what used to happen to me when we go around people. And like maybe when I was single, when I was macking, just mm-hmm. cute. Oh, she a dyke. You hear me? I can hear oh, she a dyke. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck that shit coming from? But you right, were just you asking got, me where this dyke got this shit from. Like I gotta look at you. Like like, are you really my friend? Like what? Like it's bitch. it's crazy because it's like you'll be surprised, <laughs> and there be people that's really closest to you, like that yes. really throw the shade the most. Yes. And it's like it's like you. You don't know what you take it back by, like, but you just so because you would never do that to them. Exactly, but yeah, I feel like it's in the same category. Um, I can't. It's the same thing to me. I feel mm-hmm. like so jealousy and want, envy is the it, same thing. It's yeah, one and the same. Like when someone's envious, I'm like, you want my life. Like you want my life. You're envious of me. You want my life. Like you want everything that I do, but you can't. You can't be me. Period. All right. Carmen, your thoughts. Um, piggybacking off of what Sydney said. Nah, Sydney. I want your I want your thoughts, baby. No, I know, but I'm just saying. Um, I agree with what she said about jealousy and envy. To me, though, envy is worse because jealousy. Yeah, you could be jealous of me, but you go on about your day. Yeah, envy is when like like you said, you start moving the way I do. You start doing little things I do. You start paying attention to the shit I do, the shit I rock. Like you're envying me. Like envy kills. Jealousy. Mm, you could be jealous of somebody all you want to. I don't care about that. Like, I'm jealous of the car you got. That's really nothing. Now, when I start envying you, that's scary. Yeah. Because it's just like, envy has no limit. Um, It's the same thing to me. It's the same thing. But it's just like, females, y'all, y'all got to stop being petty. Y'all got to learn how to be yourselves. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's tea is different. Like... You could copy the sauce, but it ain't gonna taste the same. Like me, same ingredients, but like, the same. Is, is, you could copy every. You could copy me. You, from, that word. Word. you could copy me from head to toe. You could get a blonde wig. You could get everything piercing, right. same jeans, same shirt. But when you step out in it, it's not gonna be the same drip. It's gonna not gonna be the, be the same aura. Like Period. females, twenty twenty two, be yourselves. Be yourselves. There's no reason to look at somebody, be jealous of them, envy of them, or anything, because right. you don't know what they got. Exactly. But. That shit is corny, what you were saying. Don't get out in public with me and then throw shade. <laughs> yes. Like, don't throw shade at me. Like, if I ask you how my hair look in the car and you know my hair jacked up, like I told, Sydney asked me how my ponytail look. Sydney, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta brush it a little bit when we get out. That's what she said. Because I'm a real bitch. Like, I'm never she gonna look, at, I'm never gonna look at the next female and be like, oh, I wish I had that hoodie on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why she got that hoodie? Like, I'm never going to look at that because I could go out and buy that. You get what I'm saying? Like, stop doing that. And if if somebody can, look crazy, tell your friend, like, girl, you your crazy. sneakers is leaning. Right. Leaning and rocking. <laughs> Y'all mad annoying, son. Oh, my God. Y'all just inspired my new set for Regina's next week. Oh, oh you, you have to play new that? Set. No, new set. New set. You, new set. You have to play Shake That Left It Tell Listen, no, oh, I don't give it like that. Give it a Shake that left and tell oh. I got 24 <laughs> limited. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the perfect for those. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She got the left and tell Yo, wait. <laughs> Yo, that man was tweaked out. So whatever his name was. Freakly. <laughs> I got Keisha, Brittany. <laughs> Yo, that's how I really get through work. I'll be like 25, 46. (laughs) Earring on the tongue, you should know what to do with it. (laughs) Boom. I said, oh, you talking about a tongue ring? That's me. Yes. (laughs) Yes, I used to have snake eyes. That shit hurt. That shit hurt it. It It did. did. They had to drag the needle through my tongue because I have a thick tongue. Like, that shit. mm -mm. Oh, say word. (laughs) Say word. Say word. (laughs) All right. Getting low. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so boom. Let me go. Let now me go. It's your turn. All right, so the difference between jealousy and envy. To me, jealousy is just simply this. Mm-hmm. I want what you have. Mm-hmm. 
That's it. I don't think there's anything wrong with jealousy in and of itself. If you ask me personally, I think that there's a healthy amount of jealousy that every person does have. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For example, like we've, we've all seen or heard stories about like a group of girls that hang out and one of them get engaged. Like, oh, I'm so happy for you. Mm. And this one girl that's just like, mm. Mm-hmm. Well, sure? honestly, like most times when you really dig through it, it's just that she wants the same thing. Right. Like, right. I've been dragged through the mud. I've been having like ups and downs with the, with the people I've been dealing with. I want what you have. I want to be happy. I want to have a man that's solid with me. I, I want to be in a stable situation. Mm-hmm. So again, in and of itself, jealousy is just simply that. Right. I want what you have. I don't right. think there's anything wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Right. For me, my success, a lot of it is dictated off of healthy jealousy. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, yo, how did that person do it? Yo, you heard that run? Yo, you heard the person the way that person did that mix? Like, you hear the way that person check? I'm like, yo, I want to be able to do that same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. For me, what it inspired is for me to get better. Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's it. That's that's the healthy jealousy to me. Healthy right. jealousy. I don't Good. think there's anything wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Envy. Mm. Envy. Ew. Envy is it's it's they're they're like cousins. They're parallel, but they don't ever interject. They don't cross paths. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's I want what you have, but I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you can't have it. That's envy. <laughs> Jalen, if you don't get my he, pictures, he and stop at me. He's he back in he he like, word. <laughs> what my pictures at, bro? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Nah, but yeah, so it's like, and it's not only just stopping you from getting what you have. It's also like the mindset. It's like the ill will towards somebody because they have something that you don't. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, let's say, let's say if a dude is like, Six three, pretty boy, and he's like getting all the women. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, that's heavy envy. That's that's envy. It's just mm-hmm. like honestly, he has no control over that. Right. So for me to not like you based off of that, that's a that's an envious thought. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think. That's what I think about it too. But there's still people out here that envy you. You could be like the nicest, like you never throw shade toward them. You bring them around everything. You you lit like you bring them to the functions. You do what you. That doesn't do. matter. And they still. See, see, see. That doesn't matter. But my matter. thing is like you're not no you're not like a like standoffish towards people or whatever. I just I'm telling you that I guess that's that. Sid, it's en- the same Je- thing. No, wait, time out. No, it's not. Jealousy and envy has nothing to do with me. It only has to do with the person that's experiencing it. That's true. I didn't make you feel anyway. And, you didn't. And, and, and that's that's the thing that people. Yeah. Get. And that's, that's probably where I'm I'm messing I'm the, messing it up at. No, it's you're not messing it up. I just don't think that. You, you probably weren't really introduced to that way of thinking. Not, Not really, thing. because like Not I always show, like you know, I just I always show love. So it's like mm-hmm. I never felt like you know there would be people that are just envious of me or just jealous of me or whatever. But there really are because honestly, the older I got, I, the more I found out that like there's people that really don't like me. Yeah, and you know I've always been. But cool if you don't like me, say that. Right. Don't and don't be in my don't be in yeah, my no, space. Like, don't people smile in my face listen, and just can't. because they you know why they're not gonna say it? because they still want to be around you or be on the scene to and do the things vibe. that you could do because they know mm-hmm. once that's taken away it's, that shit is out they're not gonna be around that's stuff no more and, the and that's thing- the that's the only reason why a lot of stuff you know lingers on and people hold on to a lot of stuff because they want to be around that vibe. Mm-hmm. You know it's, it's so funny that you say that too because that that's leads corny. into like our next point. Oof. So why do we hold on to friendships that are no longer valuable to us? <sighs> Starting, let's start with Carmen. Carmen please start with her. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Why do we hold on to friendships that are no longer Okay, I would say it could be because we could we really care for that person. Mm. We really we feel bad for that person because we could know their backstory. Or. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go personal for a second. It's fine. Come I on. hold on to personal. I hold on to friendships that I know are bad for me because of stupid reasons. Like I have a friend. I hold on to her because I know the vibe I get when I'm with her. I know the time we're gonna have when we're outside. That I have a lot of friends and acquaintances, but. When I chill with this certain person, the vibe I get, the time I have, I know I'm not going to experience that nowhere else. Like, I have chilled with other people, and it's just like, yeah, y'all cool. I have fun with y'all, but I don't get daddy like I get with her. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I say that, and then I also say, you can feel bad for a person. Like, I'm a, I am I stay friends with Courtney because, you know, like, she really don't have nobody. She's a little weird. Her family don't fuck with her. 
like I'm her only friend, her real friend. She sleeps outside with the dogs. Like. Yeah, like so it's like some people feel bad for certain people. So it's just like I know that she's not my real friend, or I know that she's this and that, but I I can't let her go. Mm-hmm. So it's a reason for everything. But that's my outlook on that. Mm-hmm. Sid the kid. Sid the kid. I like that. Um. I don't know. I think a lot of reasons, like, why we hold on to friendships that we know is no longer, like, useful for us because it's, like, probably a comfort zone for us Mm -hmm. because it's just something that we've been used to, you Mm -hmm. know? It's kind of hard in this day and age to, like, really branch out and just go. Well, for some people, Mm because for me, it's not that hard. But, like, Mm -hmm. for other people to, like, branch out and start new friendships. Like, you know, you got to think about how we grew up. Like, you know. We've been around each other since, like, we were kids. Middle school. TJ. Middle school. Like, TJ days, like, rec center days. You know, some of us moved here a little bit later, but we've been around for, like, 16-plus years, 10-plus years. So it's like, mm-hmm. it's a comfort zone. It's like you know in the back of your head that this person is no good for you, but it's like you still feed into It's me. like a drug. Yeah, it's weird. Mm-hmm. It's like, why am I still holding on to this when I know this person don't give a fuck about me mm-hmm. or what I do or they give a fuck about what I bring mm-hmm. to the table? It's just like, why? It's a com- I feel like it's a comfort thing. It's the type of person you are. I feel like that, yeah. too. Yeah, and then, too, like you, like you said, like, you don't you know you're not gonna get that lit with nobody else or yeah. just be around anybody else with that same vibe like so you stick with it but it's just like is that really doing you justice like is that really helping you out in any way like it's really not mm-hmm. and i've always asked myself that sometimes because i took a spiritual journey and like really cut people off and just like <clears throat> spent time with myself and i'm like this shit ain't that bad you know mm-hmm. like hanging out with myself and just doing my own thing and just getting my mind right because i'm an aries so it's like we're getting these weird yeah, we're a little crazy. We get in these weird little motions and stuff. But I had to do that. But I feel like mostly it's just like a comfort level. But it's just like it's up to you how you're going to detach yourself from that situation or learn to say like, okay, this is my party friend or this is my real friend. Like, you mm-hmm. know, like everybody back in the day was like, oh, everybody's my fucking best friend. That's a fact. That's everybody's best friend. Everybody's in my top 10. You didn't put me in your top 10? Exactly, but it's my just, it's just a comfort zone. Yes. It's just, BBM? A com- it's just a comfort zone. Like, mm-hmm. that's just what it is. You know. It's all good. All right, so boom. I, I already know I'll be overthinking, man. I'm a Pisces, man. I can't help this stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Are you an April Aries? Mm-hmm. 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 April 12th, baby. Why do we hold on to friendships that are no longer valuable to us? So I can I have to think about this from my perspective first. A.K.A. the good guy perspective. A.K.A. the good guy effect. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So this leads into a different question. Why do nice guys finish last? The reason why, if you ask me personally, the, why, the reason why nice guys finish last is because we're only taught how to be nice. Nice guys aren't taught how to set boundaries. And ultimately, when you set boundaries, you figure out what works for you first. Nice guys finish last because they're taught to put other people before them from the male side. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So based on my perspective on how I see it from, from women, mm-hmm. so women will be like, oh, you know, we've been friends Forever, I remember. When, I remember when you was pissing the bed back in the day. Right. So you know, I know we're in. I know we're like thirty two, but I can't not invite you to the club. So you know, <clears throat> come on with me, sis. It's just like mm. you don't have to hold on to it for another reason. Like you right. really don't. So let's say that same example. Let's say y'all been friends from the sandbox days, mm-hmm. right? Um, Sid, let's say if it's you, when you go out, you know the spot that you're going out to, you mm-hmm. got to wear like a, a nice dress, heels, makeup, your hair got to be done, whatever, cool. Mm-hmm. It's fine, right? When she comes out with you, she only want to wear sweats, Tim's, sneakers, hair tied up in a bun, just, just looking very comfortable. There's nothing wrong with that in and of itself, but it's just like, yo, for this spot, can we, can we, I, I, can you do you, something? You know what I'm saying? This, can this, you make it happen? It's just like, it's, it's not that I don't want you here, but I, I like, you are a reflection of me. There you see you what I'm saying? So it's just like, when, when, I, when I see women do it, <sighs> say it again. <laughs> say your, it again. Your friends are a reflection of you. So it's just like, listen, Damn it's just God. like, when I see women do it, mm-hmm. it's, it's based on, on putting something else higher than what it actually is. So you'll put the fact that y'all been friends for years over just saying what it is. Like, listen, you ain't dressed properly, so you cannot come out with me to this spot. But you see what how, I'm saying? Mm, I, I'm not. I'm just saying. And this is just an example. Okay, no, just I get example. that. I'm saying if you have said that right, and they don't take heed to it, what what are you supposed to do? That's, like, if you have listen, said it, listen, their family listen. have said it. Listen, if you said what it is, and she takes that personally, 
as long as you know that your intention is not malicious, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Right. I'm not, I'm really not, you good, you good, you good, you good. Mm. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's just like, this is just for this spot, for this particular event, I need you to step it up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just really it. But I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just letting you know now, if you don't step it up, I'm not inviting you out to the spot. So what does that say about a person that doesn't step it up? Like in situations that don't accommodate, like not like accommodate to like, you know, the event or the situation that you're trying to, like, bring them to. I, I mean, maybe you, it, could, it could be many things. Maybe they, they just were never taught how to step it up. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm speaking from my perspective. I've dated women who are, like, very dressed down. Mm -hmm. And it's like mm -hmm. I brought some of these girls to, like, my events, and they're still very dressed down. Mm -hmm. And I've, I could never stay with a woman like that long term. It's just like, listen, I can guide you, but it's not my job to teach you. I can only imagine. He's an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I'm really not. I just keep it. I just keep it a hundred. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. But it's just like again, it's just like yo, people. You're are, such a Pisces. I could yo, just imagine how it is I to date you. Like, like yes, I feel like he's very, he's very blunt with yeah. what he says. So like, if you come out the house, he would just be like, "What do you have on?" <laughs> like it would be little things like that that would tick me off and be like. No, but I'll tell you beforehand. I'm like, listen, this is this is a XYZ spot. Mm -hmm. Let's say like, yo, the mayor's going to be there. This person's going to be there. Make oh, okay, sure you dress yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. If you come out looking crazy after I told you how to dress, I'm like, you cannot come like that. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to go change that. Like, And, and you got to make it quick. Very quick. I cannot be late for this. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know she should saying? respect that. She should. If she don't, then like I don't, she should have went. All right, I don't, I don't deal in and and, and should. But there's I, I, different type of females. They that are. really like they don't. Okay, give let's a let's let's dial. wait. Time out, time out. Let's let's talk generally here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if a, if I said that to a woman, most women will, will be offended by that. Like, like what do you mean? Like what? No, what, I'm what's not. Wrong with my, no, I'm not. But I wouldn't. I'm not wait, gonna wait, lie take, to you. Wait, take no. your take yourself out of it. Most women. Most, but I'm talking about myself. Yeah, no, I have no, to no, talk, no, I have no, to talk no, about I'm, myself. In no, this. no, no, wait. I'm, I'm talking about your, myself. Take no. I'm telling you to take yourself out of it. I, I can't. Okay. Generally, generally speaking. Okay, well, generally speaking, I understand where you're coming from. Most females will be like, "Well, what do you mean? Like, what's wrong with what? Like, as a female? Because, sorry, but." You don't like what I got? You don't like my lips? Yo, most females will feel like that. You don't they, like they, my they, like. they would take, oh wait, you have 50-50. 50% of females, in my opinion, I feel like will take it negatively. Like, mm -hmm. you don't like the way I dress. Right. But then the other 50% will be like, oh, okay, the mayor? Oh, excuse me. Oh, the ma if you tell me the mayor's going to be there, oh, Yeah, fuck, but he shouldn't, have to he shouldn't even have to take, he shouldn't even have. Oh, I was just saying, I wouldn't take no offense to that. The type of female I am, I can't walk in hills for shit. But okay. I would throw that dress on. I'm going to throw a little sexy dress on, yeah. wear the heels inside, and I'm going to put the slides yep. on. Yep, the slides is always in the bag. That's a fact. And listen, I, I know I... Do I'm, you respect that? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. But listen, no, I'm, 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 telling, I'm telling you because I've done business with a lot of people, and again, my job is to read people. Mm -hmm. I'm not always right based on what I feel. I don't actually know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But it's like what I feel, I feel like there's something off. I'm not wrong about that. I don't ignore that. Mm -hmm. That's that, good that you don't ignore that. That's but that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm a good DJ and violinist. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you guys, and based on what I feel, I'm like, all right, maybe I should go here. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's educated guesses. So it's just like in situations like that, if, if I'm trying to hire somebody to do a job, mm -hmm. and it's just like, let's say his girl is just like mad drunk and all over the place and just a mess, something in my gut just goes, I'm like, something about this don't feel right. I ain't gonna hire you. Right. I, I I've legit not hired people to do certain jobs because of. Who they are around. I'm just so like so bougie. Wow. It's not bougie. Like, listen, Carmen, I don't got time. I get it. I don't have time for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm -hmm. like I'm trying to get work done. I got gigs after gigs after gigs. I, get it. I need you to come through, do your job, do it well, get me the result back, and that's it. I'll give you your money. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I don't got time to deal with your belligerent girlfriend, your belligerent drunk girlfriend. If you right. can't keep her in check, how can you keep my photos in check? Right. And I again I'm only gonna tell you this one time. You get her together. Well, you're out the door. I'll find somebody else. I understand that you're very talented, I'm but I'm not, not dealing with that. I'm not chasing behind you. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, I have to pee. We'll be right back after these messages. We have to talk about the work ethic of upcoming artists. Yes. Ugh. So, real quick. Here's what's really strange about the work ethic when it comes to people. People think that just because they choose a certain role, whether they, they want to be an artist, singer, podcaster that certain things are supposed to come to them. Thank you. So you, so here's the thing with me. I'm not speaking for other people. Mm. Whether I have to be the CEO or I have to be the janitor, I would do whatever. Right. Everything that you see here, I invested in. Right. I set up. Mm -hmm. I edit. Mm -hmm. And y'all don't hear a peep out of me as far as complaining. You don't. Yeah. Because at the end of the day... And we late every time. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I'm, I'm going to hear from the person that I'm, I'm late to right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. It's just like... 
I know where I want to be. Right. If I have to deal with a, a, a little lateness, a little attitude, a little shade, I got I to gotta spend a little bit more money than I'm comfortable with. I'm fine with that because I already know the people that I surround myself with, a.k.a. Yeah. you and you. Mm -hmm. It's just like I'll rather make it with you guys than to complain and do nothing. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not entitled to anything. People don't owe me nothing. Right. right. They don't. That they really includes don't. my friends, too. And, mm -hmm. I've, and I've had friends that think that just because I'm on and I'm, I'm working that I'm supposed to put them on. Come I cannot. On, wait, no. wait. And it's like this. I can't do it for you. Mm -hmm. My analogy is this, right? Let's say we're on like a ship, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like a, a real chop, like choppy water. It's, it's tilting over. It's like high waves or whatever. Let's say for whatever, whatever reason, the, the boat tips over this way. You fall, you slip. You hit the rail, you break your leg, and you fall overboard. Right. Right? So somebody has to jump over and save you now. Mm -hmm. So if I jump in that water and I try to save you, right, you mm -hmm. have one leg broke, but you have another leg that works, and you have two other arms. I'm not doing this all by myself. Right. You, you have to that. use what you have to get us both there. I, Ooh, cannot save, I cannot save the both of us. If you want to be saved, you have to save yourself first. If you, have no, if you have no interest in saving yourself, I'm letting you go. You could drown by yourself. That's a fact. That's it. Like, I had a uh, discussion with my pops literally yesterday. And Shout he, out to him. And he was just like, you know, what my problem is, you know, he said, you want everybody at the table. that, And he said, you want, like, you be around people that you want at the table that don't need to be at the table. Like, they not putting in no work. They show no interest in what you do. But you just, you see the potential in them. But if they don't see it in themselves, like, that's harsh reality. And he and, chomp, and, and I'm sorry, you chomping. She and she is smacking, <laughs> smacking OD. <laughs> Cause that's how she is. Sorry, I was just sitting here like. <laughs> but sorry, go that's ahead. That's what he told me, and I really had to sit back because usually I'm always, I'm one thing about me I'm really defensive mm -hmm. because I've been through a lot, so like I always feel like I have to defend myself, and I'm like learning like you know to pick my battles. And I had, and I looked at him like, Yo, you know what, you're right. Like, a lot of things that fell through the cracks, like before that, you know, when it was on, I was trying to put people at the table that shouldn't have been at the table. You know, they didn't show interest at day one what I was doing. But when it got lit, oh, it's lit. Like, you mm -hmm. see, this shit is on. Like, we about to get, like, no, it should never be. Like, if people fail to realize, like, you have to put in that hard work first before you, like, could celebrate stuff. You know what's funny too? I have this crazy analogy. I remember back in the day, like when when we first got out of high school, mm -hmm. one of my friends from back in the Bronx, he got robbed for like his sidekick. Okay, sidekicks weren't they, whatever. He got robbed for his sidekick. Some sidekicks though, right? Sidekick LG. Right, but it it was from it was from some like local around the way dudes. He's seen their faces before. Mm -hmm. So my friend's pops got word of it. Yo, we all rolled out like eight deep and pulled up on all of them for a sidekick. It's, but it's not for the psyche, it's for the principal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my, point. my mans, you know everybody around here, you're going to rob me? Yo, it's, you know what's crazy? Pops was driving. Pops didn't even put the car in park. He just jumped out the car. It's yeah. like, that's them? It's all good. Sorry. And Pops started wilding on them. So yeah. there was this one character. I'm not going to say no names because, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to incriminate nobody. So, but my son, you, we all know that person that's just like, with the shits yeah. no matter what mm -hmm. so while pops was just talking 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 going off he was just like yo why are we still talking right like why are we still like let's just pop on these niggas and like get it out the way if you don't got the sidekick we taking whatever you got you right. see what i'm saying so even when it comes down to like my friends like why that. like why are y'all still talking about what we're about to do we're either doing it or we're not i don't want to hear any conversation about it so it's just like if i find somebody who's pulling triggers mm -hmm. and i get on board with them don't be mad at it. You had your opportunity. And, and, and let's just, I'm going to say this too. You had your opportunity. And just because you had your opportunity doesn't mean that there's going to be this, this, that like there's no more opportunities. Yeah. But it's like, again, I cannot do it for you. If you want to be on it, you have to figure out a way to get on it now. Right. Closed mouths don't get fed. And that's period. And and these drinks that. got me in my bag. And I'm, and I just feel like if you're not pulling no triggers, you can't be on this. Like Matt went to who he feel like pulls triggers. Like, you, there's a lot of people that want to be out there doing what we're doing. Haters. Right. If you didn't pull no triggers, we, I can't feel sorry for you, son. Right, I can't sit around and just keep talking about, let's do this. Let's bro, we're getting that. only older, bro. Do, like, like we're about to be 30. Like everybody says, like, oh, like how I am at my crib, whatever. Like, right. we're getting, like, all that stuff that we want to do, you got to do it now. Like, if you don't take no chances and you can't fail, That's then what are fact. you really doing in life? And we're only getting older. And I shout out to Matt. And I have a, a different appreciation for Matt because a lot of people been came to me years ago and told me, Carmen, you need to be behind, behind the mic. 
call me. You need a show. And I just been sleeping on it. Like, yeah, I hear y'all. I'm going to keep doing what I do on Instagram, Again, whatever. Pulling no triggers. Pulling no triggers. No guns in sight on the <laughs> night. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Like, sounds <laughs> good. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, it's like when he really came to me and saw, like, nah, Matt really on his shit. Like, wait, hold up. Right. Then it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. Then Sid, like, you, everybody can't do it. Certain people are called for certain things. And it's just like, if you're not one of those people that was called, just sit back and support us. If you're not. And, and here's my thing, exit. too. It is my thing too. We I also had people that hit me up saying that they wanted to be a part of it. Yes. It's not that I do not want them to be a part of it. And, and That's it's the same thing. Yes. So wait, let's wait. get that out there. So Go wait, ahead, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna just tell y'all like this. Like, it's not say it loud. That, it's not that I do not want you guys to be a part of it. Here's right. my thing. I don't need 15 personalities right now. Right. I'm making it very clear. This takes a lot of chemistry. Me, mm-hmm. Carmen, Sydney had chemistry for years. Years. For years. It's not we, DJ, baby. You don't just get yeah. up here and just start talking, then you automatically have a show. It takes training. Yes. It takes a lot of thought, a lot of planning, and a lot of triggers to pull. So I'm going to tell you like this. If you want to be part of this show, I don't need a personality, but I need producers. Right. I need editors. Okay. I, I, I need a lot of things to go on. So if you want to okay. be a part of it, I, I'm going to allocate what you do. Right. right. You don't allocate that. I'm just t- tell it how it is. It's, no, that's a fact. Not no, it's not no cocky shit, but no, it's not cocky. It's not no cocky but shit, I've but it's some real you shit. This. You, yo, you built shit like you. You've been branded and stamped like whether you think it or not. Like since we've been young, like since high school. Right. Matt like, always had a special like it wasn't thing like, about him. We couldn't put our finger on it, but it was just like mm, there's he, something about him. I put my finger. I I didn't. I put I my can't finger. Have no I was fingers. like, yo, listen. <laughs> I knew it was something special, but I didn't have no fingers to put. Matt always knew what the fuck it was. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Like, you know how most people go, like, okay, we're going to go to school. We're going to do the four-year thing. We're going to get the education. Bro, the three of us have chemistry, and not only do we have chemistry, Mm -hmm. we was cool in high school, no matter if we hung out or we didn't. We still talk. Right. I was I was a cornball with my crew in the back, but you I still was never was not, a cornball. No, 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 no. What Real the quick, fuck is she talking two about? Two seconds. I was a cornball, but I was known because I was funny. You're and not you know a cornball. I was funny and loud. But you know what? There, honestly, now that I think about it, it's like really like no such thing as really a cornball because I really got yeah. along with people. You know what's funny? I have an analogy. I got with along that. with. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas was my best friend. <laughs> Thank you. That's ugly. I'm not gonna hold you. I had to pause. Right. I'm gonna put you it was on. cool. <laughs> Yo, call this. <laughs> She's turning red, y'all. She's turning red. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You turning red. <laughs> Yo, Dalton was a. <laughs> Yo, all I used to hear, Dalton. All I used to hear is how bad you were in class. <laughs> <Because I'm not. laughs> But now Dalton's like this. <laughs> no, he's still bad. That's some fuck shit. Yo, wait. Tell- <laughs> I love Dalton. Shout out to my motherfucking. Wait, hold on. Thing. But you know, you know what's funny about Carmen? Okay. <laughs> we think it was the moment. Because why would you do? <laughs> Yo, Carmen is crying. Son. She is really. Yo, she's red. Like crying. she's so red. Because she's so red. Why would he do? <laughs> <laughs> she's crying. Yo, yo, Carmen it's crazy, me crying. Peace, y'all. Like, it ain't nothing like this. Nothing. Why would you do that? Because why it's would funny. You, why would That's you... what he was doing back in the day. So when he, he was... would read. Was he really that? Like, I yo. never had class. You never yo. had class. But I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I got all the whack ass teachers. Yo, no. the teacher in our classes cool was Mr. Thomas. Bro, the teacher in our class used to do it on purpose. They would be like, all right, page 36. Read. Bro, he can't. He stutters. No, it's a bad stutter. It's, it's a bad. bad so like you know, la- no, 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 no. Uh, okay, I always tell people this. I'm not laughing at the fact that you have a disability. You have a disability, it's and the you reaction. no, no, no. You have a disability, and you tend to do shit that's just mad funny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like I think they're they're trying to make him feel normal, but I don't. They they always miss this point. He was no normal because he was around us. We what knew was his name. He had a really bad stutter, and, and he was a, a, a stutter and a twitch. It's oh. <laughs> I have to see him. Yo, my, no, I no, you so don't. Much. No, you don't. I smoked so much. You, no, he was in my, BF. He wasn't. Um, he oh, didn't, yeah, yeah. yeah I was. was at, uh, they was at the Bugger Factory. I was at the Bugger Factory. The Teenac, what they call it, junkyard. Like, but hold on, before, shout out to TJ. Before we look, before I lose my point too. Ew. And we we do have to get out of here by eight too. So okay. so here's the thing, Carmen. You know what's funny? 
about like 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 how you said there's no such thing as a cornball. It's like this. I think about it like this. This liquor. Some people love vodka, and there's thousands of different brands of vodka, mm-hmm. right? Some people only like cognac. So mm-hmm. just because you like only cognac does not mean that just because you don't like vodka that there are no good vodkas out there. You know what's funny, Carmen? He's so good with this, y'all. No, this is what Handsomely. I do. Handsomely. Shit. So, this, so here's the thing, Carmen. Like, <laughs> Sorry. I had a moment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that was. So with Carmen, I think Carmen was just like a new brand of alcohol that nobody ever seen. Yeah. And they don't, they just didn't understand how to deal with you per se. Yeah. So it's like when I see, when I see Carmen and I know Carmen for who she is, Mm -hmm. I didn't think about Carmen as like an underachiever or something like that. Like Carmen, it's just like Carmen, you've always been mad bright. Nobody does not like you. You you can cry. It's okay. And I'm saying... Now I'm yes. saying save, <laughs> save the tears when we start making the millions. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's, oh, no, I'm right. I'm not joking. No, for real. I'm not joking. And this is part of the reason why, like, I always tell people too, I'm like, yo, there's mm-hmm. nothing that I can't do. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That anything I have in within my control, podcast and violin, I'm always amazing at. I'm excellent at. Okay. There's nothing that I can't do. Mm-hmm. And it's just like with y'all, like I see it. With Carmen, I'm just like, yeah, it's just like the teachers gave up on you. Yeah. The teachers, the deans, they didn't know what to do with you because <laughs> Yo, no, they really did. no, they, they didn't they know what did to it. do. They, they didn't really know what to did. do. But you know what's so crazy? All the people that like you know just didn't like whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but now, nah, but for real, Carmen, like like you you are a star, mm-hmm. and I'm not even gonna say a star. In We're your, all stars. No, shut up. We're you, talking about you, you right now. You you. I don't want to talk about Stop. me. No 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 no. Stop. I want to talk about she's, all wait, wait, of us. You see her she, blushing, she, right? No, she's not. She's not used no, to this. No, I'm telling you. She's not used to it. No no. That's why she keeps trying to shadow it down. I'm not trying to be nice to you. That's not what this is. Because he he's not really nice. No, but it's not. It's not. Tell you about yourself. I'm I'm lip service second. I'm not doing this for myself only. You know what I'm saying? Again, you gotta. I always tell people you gotta support with your time, money, and resources. Mm-hmm. My money went into into like all this equipment. My right. resource is all of the equipment, the podcast. Right. So it's just like, how can I put somebody else on? Mm-hmm. Again, it's just like once you said that you wanted to do, it, I'm like, oh yeah, no, we doing this next week, right? Mm-hmm. Right away, we no, doing this. No time, no hesitation, now. right she now. She wanted to do it now. Let's do it right now. You know, I got ADD. Right. You got you got a d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d he was Caucasian, right? Yes. He was Jewish. And he was always sweating. Yes. Oh, I had him. Oh, I he had him. He was Mr. like a little man. I had Mr. B. Shout out to you. Carmen, I used to give you no, help. No, shout out not to you. No, shout, no, shout out to you, Mr. B. I really used to give you help. No. And you made me get to college because I didn't deserve that A. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, we're going to talk about that another time, too. Well, let's get up out of here. Give me your Twitters. Give me your Instagrams and everything. Carmen, go first. It's the BBWC of... And it's young balance. Hey, with three A's. What? What? And What? What? And every girl wants to get with me. Shoulders. In the in the in the. What's the hat? What's the hat? Who's on the hat? And who's on the hood? Shout out to your hat. Who made that hat? That's a good question. That's Diamonds brand. I don't even know what the brand is. It's so grub. It's Burgos spelled backwards. Oh, is it? A lot of people don't know that, but because their last name is Burgos. So it's B U R G O S spell back. You, see, you, you know should make crazy? a little restaurant or something. You know what's crazy? But wait, shout out your hoodie. Oh, this is by Eddie Poppy. It's Balance. Eddie Poppy. Um, Uno, he got, he got dos, the tres. You know. It's anyway, Matt Violinist Podcast. This is the Give Us a <laughs> anyway. Minute segment. We are out of here until next week. Catch y'all later. It's been Thanks real. for tuning in. Oh, guys, I love. Yo, I love us. <laughs>